some aspects of today's story might feel a little familiar. In the desolate, icy wasteland of the Arctic, a mysterious group of hooded men use a laser gun to cut loose tremendous icebergs. But those are no ordinary icebergs, in addition to the fact that they were artificially calved. There's enough explosive on each of them oversized ice cubes to blow a ship to smithereens. I hope the electromagnets are strong enough. Don't worry. They'll go to her like a homing pigeon. They're loaded with high explosive and magnetized. Needless to say, they have a particular ship in mind. Plowing through the Atlantic, the gigantic first atomic-powered passenger liner is on her maiden voyage. First of its kind, on its maiden voyage, its name is the Gigantic, and it's headed for an unpleasant encounter with an iceberg. But there's one big difference. On board are Lois Lane and Superman in his guise of Clark Kent. Mrs. Clark, I've heard a rumor that we're carrying a top-secret cargo. Hmm. Did you find out what it is? No, but you know what, Clark? I've got a feeling this is going to be another time when I wish you were Superman. Wish no more because he are Superman. I mean, you know what I mean. So the Gigantic is likely to have a better time than the Titanic did. Sparks, send this fake SOS. Send it just as written. Moments later, the Gigantic, responding to the false SOS, turns and proceeds at full speed on a collision course with the deadly explosive-laden icebergs. Clark has questions because the distress signal is taking them right into the middle of nowhere, way off any established shipping lanes. This is a job for Superman. Up, up, and away! He can fly on ahead and verify whether there's a ship in distress at that spot or not. Needless to say, the answer is not. Look! Our icebergs are closing in on the gigantic. When they hit that ship, we collect one million dollars. One million dollars. For what, we won't find out. Maybe it has something to do with that top secret cargo Lois mentioned, or maybe somebody just doesn't like great big ships. So, radar room reports icebergs due north on collision course with us. Great balls of fire! No, great piles of ice. Although a few well-placed great balls of fire would probably be beneficial right now. The bergs are bearing down on the ship and no amount of evasive action will shake them loose. The captain orders everybody to the lifeboats, but Lois can't find Clark. She just has to hope he's all right and got to a lifeboat safely. Wonder what that shack is doing out here in the middle of nowhere. With radar and a radio transmission tower. Better look into that. At this rate, the gigantic should hit the dynamite in no time. Okay, man. Let's get ready. May I come in? What? Hey, one hour. I've come in response to your SOS. I'm going to take you aboard the gigantic. You're so excited about the impending collision. Let's give you a ringside seat for it. I have a feeling they'd prefer the nosebleed section. Now, their radar stuff is helping guide the icebergs and pull the gigantic toward them, so of course he just carries them away and leaves it all running, because the story says so. Superman! Clap these men in irons, Captain. This is a real job for Superman. Up, up, and away! got to be in the basket for two points. We saw the ship heading for three icebergs. Superman destroyed two of them. The third threw down his dynamite and ran home to his mama glacier. Uh-oh, that third berg is too close for comfort. So I was wrong. But it's magnetized, so it's not going to keep going that direction. Superman realizes that, right? The danger isn't over. That Berg's magnet will pull it back in minutes. Oh, good. I was getting concerned there for a moment. <laughs> Lois is still searching for Clark. Clark Kent, where have you been? Hiding under your bed? No, I got us both a... a, a I, I brought you a... Superman heard you say you wished he'd give you a ring, so he handed me these, and uh, never mind. 
Hey friends, if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button and let me and YouTube know it. If you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. And remember, you can become a patron of this channel for as little as $2 a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Needless to say, they have a... T blah, blah, blah. Their radar stuff is helping guide the ice... Yeah, 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 yeah.